Hello everybody, my name is Kanoe Manika, and today we are going on a bit of a backlog sort of trip. Where I'm finally going back to figure arts One Piece. Yes, I know, I did Luffy a while ago, but I didn't get a chance to do the others. Until now, because today, we are taking a look at the Raid on Onigashima version of one Roranora Zoro. I've heard things about this figure, and I'm going to find out if I have those same problems. Why don't we? So... The front of the box is very similarly styled to Luffy's, except it's got a lot of green because of his green hair. So we've got an open window. It says Ronora Zoro right there over a bunch of faces, and it shows him as the figure, and you can see some of his sword stuff in the background. Top corner says One Piece. SH for yours, Ronora Zoro, right on Onigashima, has all that stuff. Tons of stickers, tons of logos, letting you know that it's official and whatnot. The top is still has that SH Figure Arts quote in the uh, style of Luffy's hat, as well as a map behind it. This side shows a bunch of facial expressions, as well as Roronora Zoro's name. The other side has Roronora Zoro, as well as him doing a cool action pose. One Piece, SHF. The bottom is just Roronora Zoro, with him. The back has the legalese, as well as your average distribution stuff, because this is the Western release. It's got him doing a couple of poses, so he can do some super action, super modeling, them hanging out. Luffy's face going, oh! Because that's what it comes with. We like a oh, pose. I do like getting some extra accessories for Luffy when I am here. So let's, without further ado, let's open it up. From here, let's slide it up. Uh, it's got an instruction booklet to show you how Zoro works so that you can move his arm thing. Because he's got a lot you gotta do. Shows you the particular way to put in his sheaths. Because I think they're one thing. You got the little hilts and then... Sh 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 yep. Warning delicate. They are delicate. Jeez, that is a fussy thing it looks like. And then on this side... We got how to do the different faces. You want to remove the head and whatnot. Move that. You can also do his sword mouth head. Because there's only one option for that. Which is perfectly reasonable. Well, there might be other options. I'll have to check. But I think there's only one option. It shows which sword is the one that goes in his mouth. Through there. <laughs> Alright. Let's look at Ronora Zoro. I've heard horror stories. Let's hope it goes alright for me. Swatch. So it doesn't so he's got like six total hands. He's got fists on him, but he's also got his sword gripping hands, obviously. You know, they're hands. And he's got this kind of openy hand. And then Yeah. Uh and he's got the arm for when he takes off the normal headpiece and goes for the hood. The arm piece that goes in the way of that. I hope that arm's fairly easily swappable. One of his big accessories is that he's got a bunch of fucking faces. One of his accessories is behind him. We'll get there when we get there. He's got a lot of faces. So here's one of his faces. This is a shocked face. Yeah, it looks great. It looks just like One Piece artwork. I need the lights on for this. To make it look nice. Because I need to care about Zoro. Um, Jeebus. I got, hopefully I didn't chip too bad. Yeah, I didn't. So yeah, we got him with a shocked face. A swoop. Is this the same shocked face? Or it... No, this one has a teardrop on it. This is just a yelling, angry face. Yeah. Uh, this next one I think is a smiling face. <laughs> I, I I know Zoro. I love One Piece. Next up is the sword wielding head. There was an error. That mouth slot should fit the sword. It looks like it should fit it fine. But right now it looks a little goofy just because of how it works. And then we get our one Luffy face in this set. Swoop. Where we have a shocked Luffy to go with that shock to Zoro. Now let's get out his swords. I forget their names. 
This one has the basic oval hilt. Sing. There we are, yeah. It's got that nicely painted hilt. It has things for its mouth to go into, just in case you want to use any of them. I think any of them are eligible to be the mouth sword, but... I think it's supposed to be the one with the... Oops, let me check. No, it's supposed to be that one. Okay, it's supposed to be this one. This is your mouth sword. We got this sword, which I forget the name of. Oh, yeah, that's well painted. It's got the little bits of blue. Black edge. It's got the gold bit of the hilt. Got some blue there. And the hilt is shaped like that. Let's be careful. Whoop. And there's the blue there. The three little hoops. It's got its cool blue hilt. And slightly chipped, but it's okay. Maybe it's not slightly chipping. Let's move out Zoro so that we can look at his hilt. It's a three time hilt. It's got a peg hole and. And. Let me find out how this should work. And then, yeah. Boom. But yeah, here we are. These look nice, honestly. They are fairly well painted. They're a tad shiny. They got the slot and then the hole. And you can also remove each of these hilts. If you feel like it. And then, whoop. Here's Zorro. He is in a bag for some reason. Let's get him through the bag. Sure. Alright, mine feels a bit pr pretty tight. I've got to check around. I, I, I mean, this is definitely going to be a limiter, this lower cloak. Mine feels fairly tight, all things considered. Mine was made in China. I don't know if there's a difference between these being made in China or made in Vietnam. I don't know if any of these were made in Vietnam. Ow. Yeah, he seems fine. I, I want to try getting... I gotta follow the instructions. But yeah, that face is great. I love his hair. You know. Yeah, that looks nice. I love that scar. It's got the scar on the chest. It's a bit cartoony, but it's one piece. It's always a bit cartoony. Let me find it. How do I get this? You gotta remove the hilts first. Okay. And then... There. There we go. Got them removed. Uh, and then... Goes like that. I guess. Oh man, that's not gonna go in. Maybe this, I gotta move the leg in. Jeez. Jeebus, I need to... They're all supposed to go in. I'm gonna do this close up to me so I don't break anything. Because I don't want to break anything. But I also want him to have his hilts... So, okay, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Okay. One sec. I gotta be careful, because I really don't want to break my Rowan Arzaro, because I love Rowan Arzaro! He's a good boy. God, I saw that. This is difficult. I'm sorry. I'm being quiet because I'm being focused with Ronora Zoro. Enjoy the box until then. Uh, but yeah, I, I like One Piece 
the live action turned out well. I've been reading it. I'm at, uh, wherever the fuck, uh, Don Quixote's big arc is, whatever the fuck that's called. I forget the name of it. Uh, there we are. We are in. Now we wiggle a little bit. God, I, I don't have this. All right, I got it wiggled in. And that is staying in there forever. <laughs> okay, that should have... I don't know. I got it in there, kind of. There we are. That's staying there forever. I think it's in the slot, yeah. I don't know, I'm not having as many issues. I don't know, maybe I'm just new to it, but I'm not having as many issues as people. I mean, obviously, it's not the greatest articulated thing. This is a just a goddamn traffic cone. But I get some range. Um, I should get the sheaths in there, huh? So first off. Ah. Uh, give me a sec. I gotta fucking do this thing. Give me a sec. Uh, and then I believe it's the gray one. I believe it goes the gray one next. Uh, swoop, and then it's the white one. And boom. And then, yeah, that's Zoro. But yeah, I, I, I think I'm liking Zoro. I think I'm liking him more than people have been saying. I'm, I'm pretty happy with him. Maybe if I get him in two crazy poses, but like... He's not the greatest figure arts I own. I think this traffic cone is very much hurting him. I'm sure a different Zoro, like a uh, East Blue Zoro, since they're doing... They announced they're doing an East Blue Nami and an East Blue Luffy, which leads me to believe they'll probably do an East Blue Zoro and an East Blue Sanji at least. They might do an East Blue... Uh, what's his name? Fucking... Uh, oh, who knows? I'm Usopp. They, I, I love One Piece. But yeah, um... Like... He's got articulation in there. Like, he's got limbs, but, like, also, he's traffic cone, and that's something you got to take into account when you're posing him. And it's a fairly tight traffic cone, too. Uh, but, yeah. I, yeah, I think I enjoy Zoro here. Let's get him standing, though. Uh, there we are. Yeah, that's Zoro. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit scattered brain because I spent so much of it trying to get that sheath in, and that's a problem. I don't think I like this as much as Luffy, I don't think, but it's good. It's Zoro. I like Zoro. He's winning a lot of points by being Zoro and looking cool while doing it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.